Hello guys, I have been wanting to do this video now for a long time but never gotten uh, around to do it but as you can see in the picture here you have a LED headlight by Volvo and I really believe this is like the uh, new generation of headlights for cars and what is not a better way to show you how the system works than to actually take a trip in this Volvo X90 and show you how it works. So the way you activate the active high beams is that you push this switch upwards like this so as you can see it now have a A on there that means that the automatic is on but it's only white and when it's blue it's uh, showing that the high beams are active and on so the system works by that it uh, got a lot of cameras up here and it checks out for a lot of rear lights and other lights and uh, because of the street lighting the only negative thing is that uh, <clears throat> then it won't turn on the high beams because then it doesn't really know what to do it gets confused and as you can see the one in front there tries to turn on his high beams but since he doesn't even have the lights on the car on they won't stay on just uh, fun thing and it's even a Volvo so turn off the automatic high beam function because I want to show you I'm rocking the steering wheel and you can, as you can see the low beam is really turning with the steering wheel when you are in a little bit of speed so we can try here in this corner and see how it performs so then it's straight and I'm turning and as you can see the light turns in and then I'm switching to automatic mode and it senses that there's no oncoming traffic and it turns on all of the high beams and LEDs that are uh, on the car and as you can see you have more than enough of light uh, to be driving at this time of day so so here is like a little bit of obstructing light and uh, uh, the system yeah there it kicked out and it gets a little bit confused when there are lights on the side of the roads and so on but uh, it's functioning pretty good and it's not a big so problem this is the car in when you're opening it at night as you can see the DRLs in the front, the light up uh, door handles, and then you have the rear here as you can see. And when you're opening the door, you also have the puddle lights down there, which is pretty useful and looks really nice. I already made another video on the interior light, so go check that out if you're interested. And also the door step lighting. And a fun fact, the first ever man to reach the South Pole, uh, Roald Amundsen's home, is 50 meters behind down there, so he lived here. And I'm outside of Oslo now, which is in the distance there. So now we will see how the active high beam performs from behind of a vehicle. It should light earlier, make a dark triangle or rectangular, I mean, around that truck. And uh, any oncoming traffic should also be blocked out and the truck should also never have any light on it. So it will light up the sides and around the truck. So we will see, it's on now and it's turning on and as you can see slightly on the camera <clears throat> it lights up in between or on each side of the truck from the side there 
and now there is common vehicle and then it will follow that one also it isn't that easy to see but there's a dark spot where the truck is and any traffic coming in here will also be uh, darkened out by the high beam so it's really smart So what is going to happen when we are meeting a car now is that uh, the last uh, high beam, the brightest high beam is going to turn off, the one that is not uh, directionally pointed which is just uh, lighting all over the place that will turn off and then the rest of the different uh, high beam lights that are able to turn will then box in the car which is coming against us and uh, light up on the sides of the car and you will see it's almost like a black rectangle will encase the car which we are meeting. It's maybe hard to see how it works with this one but you maybe can see it a little bit and also you have different settings on how uh, fast it will on how fast it's going to uh, follow the car and change the mode so I have it in the fastest one and as you can see that driver some drivers get confused and think that you are driving with your high beams on so they will flash you back even though it's in automatic and it's actually not supposed to be blinding them at all but uh, it feels maybe a little bit weird that the light sources on the car is so strong so we will see with this one coming here. 